Look, it's a fish head. Super, super removed from the whole in the U.S. Process. And so coming oh, here, it was just like, whoa, wow, this is. Well, we are at the wet market, and we are buying some vegetables. This is very different. This is an interesting experience, um, <laughs> for sure. And Maverick wants to help. Maverick wants to help buy some vegetables. Maverick, what are these? Chingwen, this is Dong Chishi Shama. Near now. Oh. It's lotus. Oh, your English is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Under the water, right? This is lotus. Lotus tree. Why? Wow. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Uh, a Texan. A Texas de de sausage. Oh, sausage. Yeah, by Megua. Oh, it's Yeah, Nina, Nisha, Bendy, you Yeah, local. Local, Tanya, yeah. then. Yeah. Wow, what's that? Local, Tanya. Nisha, yeah. Cantonese, yeah. yeah. No, Yongi, Hop, Dong, Dong, Wah. Oh, okay. She said, what a put your Robbie Jow house. With the wet market, you can touch and feel and choose which one you want. And if you don't like the price of one, you can just go to another one. There'll always be someone who's a little bit lower. So, we grab this basket and you put the various vegetables in here, and then you and then and then the lady will weigh it out on a scale. I feel like I have more control over what I'm buying. And give us a price. I think the wet market is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. It's more fun, anyways, for me. And that's that's the pepper, son. You you do not want to eat the pepper. There's many rows with a lot of different vendors selling. That wants your business. Yeah, and sometimes they'll even throw in free, free stuff like free cilantro or uh, green onions or something. I don't know. I just feel like. The supermarket was convenient when we first moved here, but I, I don't like how they package things and the price. Huh? I went, um, do you want lotus? It's, 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 it's pretty good. I like it. If you want it, you should get it. Yeah, try it small. Try it, get a small one. Get a lotus. Try it small. Try it, get a small one. Get a lotus. Look at all these vegetables, son. Maverick, I should carry you like that. With all the locals, of course they speak Mandarin, but they also have their local dialects. And they speak fast. I think they know you're a foreigner, so they slow down a little bit, but sometimes they have accents, mm -hmm. and it's hard to understand. And then there's also like the sections that's not oh, fruit and vegetables, turtle. but towards the back where they have all the fresh meat. Yeah, the butchers. The butchers, and they're you know cutting up fresh fish. meat right there, and then they've got, they've got the chickens in the cages. They killed fresh. I was with a friend when we first got here, and she needed some fresh chicken, so <laughs> I went with her, and she's like, "Yeah, you just point to the chicken you want and." And then they, you know, slit the throat, throw it in a bucket. Right in front of you. Yeah, and the blood drains out, and then they take the feathers off, and yeah, and you feel kind of more connected to the nature, um, to the animals. You don't see where the food came from. Yeah, you just, yeah, you're you're so removed from that. So, what was your first impression of the wet market? Oh, it's my mama. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. For me, a first experience being in China with a wet That's market. A red onion. It is so different. We're we're so removed from that experience in the U.S. where you just go to the local grocery store and everything's already packaged. What else? Yeah, when we 
first got here, we didn't know any Chinese. It was intimidating. And then there's, you know, the pressure to buy because they're all like, come over here, come over here, buy this. They and get in your face and try to sell. Yeah, and you know, in the, in the market, they, they, they do clean things, like they wash the vegetables and they mm -hmm. make them all beautiful looking, but sometimes they don't. Like sometimes you get the sweet potatoes with the dirt still on it. You can see if it's eaten by worms or not. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> there'll be little holes yeah, in the lettuce or whatever. And then here, you know, you can even get the eggs. They're not refrigerated, They're and the, sometimes they still have little chunks of, of dirt or feather. Little feather or something on there. It's just like, oh wow, this, this came from a chicken. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> so, uh, so different. Okay, well, all right, this is our video. I hope you like it, and if you like it, um, you want to see more videos like this, Amazing. please subscribe to our channel. So it is free. So, thank you. Bye-bye.